This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Bereshut Chaverim. There's only one bracha that we make throughout really the whole year that we invoke the Kisei HaKavod, God's throne of glory. And this is not on Yom HaKippurim. It's not on Shabbat. The only time we invoke Kisei HaKavod in a bracha is when we say Asher Yatsar, when we finish taking care of the most base, lowly human need, we say a bracha, Asher Yatsar et ha'adam b'chachma, galoi v'yadua lefnei chisei ha'kavod, shem yipateach echad mehem. We invoke the kisei ha'kavod. Why is it, of all brachot, we invoke the kisei ha'kavod specifically, when we perform the lowest function of man. So Vilna Gon explains in Sefer Imre Noam Amesachet Brachot that this is to counteract the notion of the Gentiles that God is only interested in the big things. They say, Ram al kal goyim Hashem, God is elevated above the heavens. Al Hashemayim Kivodo. But we say, Mi Kashem Elokeinu Hamagbihi La Shavet. Who is like God who sits on high? Hamashpili lerot, v'ashamayim of Aretz, who lowers himself to see what's in heaven and earth. Mikimi me'afardal he lo. Hashem elevates from the dust the poor. Me'ashpot yarim evyon from the garbage heaps he elevates the impoverished. We say there's nothing beneath the purview of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. and therefore specifically when we come out of the Beit Hakisei, we perform the lowliest function of man. We say, Galui v'yadua l'fnei chisei ha'kavod. But I believe studying this week's parasha, we encounter another important reason why we invoke kisei ha'kavod when we say Asher Yatzar. HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells Moshe Rabbeinu, Go out to Paro, hinei yotzei ha'mayma. He's going to be standing by the water. Ask Rashi, what's Paro doing by the water? Says Rashi, he's using the facility because Paro said he was a god. So if they would ask him if you're a god, you don't have to go to Beit HaKisei. Paro would say, no, I don't go to Beit HaKisei. So he would sneak out early in the morning. Now, God wasn't looking to punish Paro. He was looking to educate Paro. He wanted Paro to recognize that Paro is only Basar Vadam and God is Melech Malchei Hamlachim. What moment would Paro be most receptive to acknowledge the Emet, that he's Basar Vadam and God is the Melech? Certainly when he woke up in the morning to go to Beit HaKisei, how could he deny that he's Basar Vadam? So it comes out the moment that a person is most receptive to appreciate Malchiot HaKadosh Baruch Hu is after a person uses Beit HaKisei. He feels, he recognizes, he's only Basar Vadam and God is Melech Malchei Hamlachim. Therefore we could suggest that specifically when we come out of Beit HaKisei, we acknowledge the Malchiot of HaKadosh Baruch Hu Galui V'yadua Lefnei Chisei HaKavod. So don't lose the opportunity to be Mamlech HaKadosh Baruch in a way more than the Ilah, more than Rosh Hashanah, more than any other time of the year. Davka, when one comes out of ki, uh, the Beit HaKisei, it's an opportunity to recognize Hashem is Melech Malchei HaMlachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Galui V'yadua Lefnei Chisei HaKavod. Rabbi Hanan Yen HaKash Oimer Ratzah HaKadosh Baruch Hu L'Zakot Es Yisrael L'Fikach Kirba Lohem Torah Mitzvot Shene'emar You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.